<laughs> was that you? <laughs> oh my god, I was dying. <laughs> that was amazing. I feel so much better. All right, are Whoa. you what? Was ready? Till my hat dropped off my head. Oh, I threw up my mouth four times. Jesus. <laughs> Shouting down. I'm not counting down. That's John's job. He really call him. Let's just. <laughs> Will you call him? That's what you said. Can't see these. Call Buker. Hey. Oh, if he doesn't have. Oh, you did it. What's going on, Nub Nub? What's up, Jojo? We're just recording. <laughs> we're just recording a podcast, and we were trying to figure out that he had a theme for you to count down in. Oh God! Okay. Uh, what is so it? we're starting episode one of season three. So episode one of season three. Yeah. So what's that mean? That means it it's mean October. So do a count, Chocula. We just did Liquor Mania. The season's over. Have you never watched a episodic t television YouTube shows? Uh, I did. I watched your shit. Exactly. So it's see the, the season three. Okay. God. What do you? What's the theme for uh, Chub Dum Dum? Count Chocula. Count Chocula. Or do you want uh, like the count from like the puppets? Yeah. Oh. What? Yeah, they're the same. Yeah, the count, the count that counts, though. Okay, so you want me to count down from five, right? Yeah, and then but you got to also count the counts. Yeah, count, is that what you would do? Five. It's like one. You have to count something. What are you counting? You have to count something. Numbers. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's okay, okay, I got it, 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 I got it. Glasses of whiskey, something. Yeah. Five whiskey. Four whiskeys. Three whiskeys. Two whiskeys. And one whiskey. Down Nick's gullet. It got gay on two and one, but it was pretty good. <laughs> so you're like three or whatever. I lost interest. Yeah. Although you're going to say you lost count. It was too long. <laughs> For that, for that Oshawa public school system, it's no good. I can't count higher than five, so if you would have said ten, I would have been fucked. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Bye. Later, guys. Yeah! Oh, welcome to the Dirty Glass Podcast. We're sitting here in the basement of Oak Avenue in the Dirty Glass Studio. We're going to drink. We're going to laugh. We're going to learn. Sitting beside me, we got Denny the Mixologist. My name is Nick. This is the Dirty Glass Podcast. Um, you know, before we go into some different stuff, Denny, what do we do here at the Dirty Glass Podcast? Let's keep her classic. What do we do? We rate adult beverages from zero to five dirty glasses. <laughs> zero being garbage and five being uh, amazing. Great. Great, great. No, it's basically between bueno and no bueno. Yeah. And then add buenish? What would be like, I wonder if Spanish? And bueno. Bueno. No. Bueno. Um, you know, anywhere yeah. between there. So we're doing things a little different. Season three has started, as you know, Liquor Mania. And the winner of Liquor Mania was Heineken, is the grand champion of the whole year project that we did. Um, so we're moving on to a little different format but exactly the same right exactly the same but a little different a little different we're just doing fucking one a week now two drinks and a face-off because a face-off's fun right fucking right i like doing yeah. the face-offs all all in one episode it's Easy. basically the same but one episode and then it'll give me a little more time to drop some of my dirty glass travel pods which i have a ton in the bank i got like stuff from like two years ago oh jesus I got tons of shit in the bank, so with uh, one episode a week, it gives me a little more room to get creative. 
<laughs> la, la. Get dainted up. And the dude, too, go to things and you see me drinking. You know? It's the same. It's just drinking in a different country, usually. Or this country, but not here. Just not at home. Anywhere but this table is a travel pod, oh. on location pod. Look out for those. I'm also going to have a separate channel with just travel stuff. I'm going to post the exact same stuff and post it on this channel on there. And I'm going to give it no attention and see how many followers I get. What do you think? Do it. All right. So, anywho, one episode a week. We got a face off. And this week, Denny, what, what's going on this month? And then what's this week? Oh, this fucking month's whiskey. All different types of whiskey. And this week's going to be Buffalo Trace. Uh, what is it? Straight. Jesus. Straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Against Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey. And isn't Buffalo Trace one of the oldest whiskeys? Yes. Yeah. It is. Like in, in the world or in... Yeah, it's from like the place where they make it is from the 1700s, I believe. Yeah. And absolutely. Caribou caribou Whiskey from Canada, they they make it there. Oh, do they? Yeah. It's made in Canada now? No, no. They, they make it at this... Bre- this uh, oh, this right. Place. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I thought you meant this very Kentucky whiskey was made in like fucking Burlington, Ontario or something. Oh, I'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Since it's called Street Kentucky Whiskey. Yeah, it would be interesting. We well, ninety you might have the stat down. Ninety five percent of all bourbon are in Kentucky. Really? But you can you can make bourbon know. stat. You can make bourbon anywhere. Um well did you, did you know in Kentucky there's more barrels of bourbon than people? Shut up. Really? Yeah, apparently. I, mean, can, I, don't, I guess they're the agent, so I don't think Kentucky has a super big population either, to be completely No, honest. maybe not. Right. And they're selling this shit, not just in Kentucky, even though I'm sure they could do a pretty good job of getting through those bottles. Yeah. All right. All right. This is freaking dogs. So um, we got a bourbon week. We got a whiskey month. Uh, and then, you know, this, the rest of the year, every month is going to be liquor. We're going to do a little mini liquor tournament. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the whole thing, we'll see who wins this little quarterly liquor. Because, you know, the winter's for... The, the waistline. You got to get the waistline down a little bit. So we got to take a little break. We'll go the gluten, beers. Gluten free for the rest of the year. But to sell, yeah, gluten free, just like Tito's always says. But to celebrate a new era, a new season, maybe we should do the opposite of what I just said and have a beer really fast, though. Yeah, we'll shotgun the, the winner. Let's shotgun the grand champion, Heineken. Uh, and we did a whole year. I, I can't believe we got through that fucking whole year. It was, it was, I'm, I'm very, very proud of us for getting through that year, but, um, it's a new deal. Episode one, season three, got to start out with a little shoddy shot. I got to put my glasses on so I can see the shotgun beer. <laughs> so do you have the, oh my God, what happened? I use this. Did he did it wrong? Wait, did my puncture? It looks like a. Well, I couldn't see it. I didn't want to spray the equipment. So it looks like, like a diseased butthole. Yeah, well, just suck it. Oh, you know why? Because it doesn't go point in first. But <laughs> bends in first. Oh, no, no, this is no good. It looks like a diseased butthole, guys. It didn't spill though. It didn't. No, that's true. Lord, yeah, look, like... look at mine. <laughs> oh God. My looks like a botched surgery of someone's butt. All right. Well, I we, do you want to make your hole bigger? Tip it back. Tip it back. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. I did it the right way. Oh, shit. That's better. Shit. Perfect, Nick. You just open your mouth as wide as you can. It's so sharp. Oh, don't, don't sit down. All right. This is ready. already a disaster. Cheers to season three and to the end of your opinion. Fucking the grand champion getting the shotgun. That worked pretty good. You didn't get any on yet. Oh, yeah, you didn't get so much, Harvey. My dog doesn't like eating the beers. And the stream was so... Here, look at yourself. The stream was so ropey. <laughs> yeah, that thing sucks. Let's not use that again. How's that sound? Not again. All right, hey, I'm ready to go with the, uh, for episode one, season three, this is episode, uh, actually 170 fucking five, I think. Here, give some info while I crack this little believe we've done 175 episodes of this fucking silly shit. I can't, uh, like, we've done over 175. That's as many as Rogan. Oh, no, he's like two thumbs. No, he's so much higher. 
Uh, all right. Well, okay, so Jeez. the flavor profile, uh, caramel, vanilla, oak, and spice. Oh, and also it says here, fire. What's falling? Why is everything falling now? I'm stoned and drunk already. What the fuck's going on? I don't know, man. It's the new season. It's the season of drunk. Highly regarded as a benchmark for other bourbons. So we're talking about Kentucky Buffalo? Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Buffalo Trace, baby. Is it Kentucky Buffalo like a band? It's like uh, well, Buffalo Buffalo Spring, Buffalo Springfield kind of thing. Um, it doesn't have great facts here. You should have said interesting facts. No. One of the oldest like facts. One of the oldest in the U.S. dating back to the 1700s. So we've gotten drunk off this, haven't we? It's helped. Uh, in 1964, this is interesting. Uh, this is what I I came up with. I'm, I'm AI has still not caught up to me. Congress declared bourbon uh, as America's only native spirit. To be classified as bourbon, it needs to be made in the U.S., including a minimum of 51 percent corn. It needs to be oh, okay. aged in new charred oil oak barrels, distilled no more than 160 proof. Stored at no more than 125 proof and bottle at no no less than 90 or 80, so it has to be above 40 percent to be a bourbon. Oh, okay. And it can legally to be a bourbon. You can make it anywhere in the states. It's just Kentucky does 95 percent of it. Yeah, and you probably can't call it Kentucky bourbon if you didn't make it in Kentucky. Can you? I'd assume not. I don't know though. Good question. The origins of the name bourbon are up for debate, Denny, and can lead to some pretty heated discussions. This one's not called Kentucky. Bourbon. Yeah, well, where's that made? Check. Well, I guess we'll find out soon. Let's, let's, oh, let's just, first. I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah. ADD, it's good for me. It makes me look at many things and I forget them. And I forgot we were doing a pod. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Oh, your wife. This actually happens often. Your wife drugged you. <laughs> I don't know if everybody noticed the ET, Denny. What's that stand for? Eddie Torres. Extra testicle, <laughs> man. Yeah. Nothing says fucking bourbon like an ET t shirt. Eddie Torres. <laughs> That's the American dream. <laughs> mm. That's smooth as silk. I actually do taste the vanilla. Yeah. I didn't Fuck ever yeah. tasted it before. What did it say? As an oaky flavor? Or yeah, something? oak. Because it's done in oak, like. It's you charred oak can charred oak cask. Yeah. I said too many S's. <laughs> you said you're like doing it like fucking uh like uh, Caesar. Well, I was thinking we're like that cannibal and that sounds like Oh Jesus. No, that's the any one. I can't do the I can't make that sound. Poodle was the best at it. Did he do it? Yeah. I've never seen him do it. Oh Jesus. I don't think he was doing the yeah, anyway. He's doing something. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's got a nice fucking uh it's fucking, it tastes like there's a, it's half vanilla. Yeah, I, like, until I read that, I never tasted it in this, and we've drank this many times. Mm. Oh. I like it. There's that's a, there's that's a, interestingly good. There's another bourbon. Oh, I sent you the picture of it. What was it called? The, the Brothers? Brothers? It's supposed to be made by, uh, like, some famous TV people. I, I don't know who they are. The guy told me I forgot. I almost got it. It was 75 bucks for a 26er. <laughs> Yeah, this month we're trying to do like, you know, medium road, like under $50 for a 26er bourbon. How much is this stuff? Is Kentucky tr It's uh, uh, 45 Okay, that counts. So is it Brothers Bond? Brothers Bond Street Bourbon Whiskey, hand selected batches. It's because it's, that's funny, it's 40%, but it can be 80%. No, no 83, which is 40%. Right, exactly. Okay, so that's 40%. Four brain, high rye. For brain, who made it? Brain, the brothers bond. That's sweet. We gotta get a box. Bo box. Bond. Look at, look at, it's too corn. Two cobs of corn. What does that represent? <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. Get some cob. Mine. Get some cob. Go get some yeah, cob. cob. Get some cob. Cob it up. That so means, this is this. I mean, the blow job in the dog patch. By the way, this has been my favorite bourbon since I've tried it. Hmm. But I've only had probably three bourbons. Maybe, no, you know what? We've had a few. We had Maker's Mark. Is that not a bourbon? I think so. That one with the wax it was in Dad's shed. 
Oh, that was fucking 50%. It was, it was burning fire because we didn't put water in it. That's so drunk off. All you need is three drops of water and it changes the whole flavor. That's what we were drinking that, that, yeah, that last that, night. And on his birthday. With those little tiny red solo cups. Yeah. And we look so giant. <laughs> yeah. Red solo cup. That was funny. And I had a dream last night where I was trying to find that song on YouTube, but for some reason I couldn't. I texted you a couple times today when it was on the on my mitt. <laughs> Was it during the day you were sleeping? No, I was like, just like last night, I had weird. <laughs> I don't drink, I don't smoke. Song searching? Yeah, it was like, it was really strange. That must be weird. I don't smoke as much weed anymore, so I remember my dreams now. Yeah, They're all strange. Get a little notebook. I got one at home. It was you like. I want to read what's in that, though. <sighs> nope. All right, so on that awkward note, are you going <laughs> to. Are you going to. Are we scoring? Score? Should we finish this first, you think? This one. It was only a double. <laughs> finish it. That's way too much. I remember it being it's less smooth. smooth. My palate's changed fucking big time. You know, yeah. No, you're right. It, it was more burry before. Is this a different kind? No, absolutely. Are you sure yeah. that's a Mickey? Well, what do you think it is? That'd be good with fucking Coke, eh? Diet Coke? No, it's more money than... Like, I'd rather just drink... CC. Like, CC is cheaper than black? I just get that. It's a 4 3. <laughs> I'd say it's a 4 3. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. 4 3, 4 4. It's, it's near, it's almost a miracle. It's fucking amazing. It's almost, you know, it's really good. I give it a 4 5. It is a miracle then for me, yeah. Wow. But I mean, I know a whiskey that would get a higher pointage already. But we don't have it. We might have it next week. A bourbon? No, but a whiskey. Because uh, I think we'll probably get Irish whiskey next week. Especially if you get the season is getting colder. That's why we're doing this. Might as well go with the brown water, the brown liquor. It's perfect for it's when it's getting so chilly out at night. It's so nice. It's like coffee. In the morning, yeah. The best with a coffee. <laughs> Anything. I mean, I'm. No, that's. You're right. I haven't hit. For some reason, I know you guys can You know, oh, even a decap, though. I just, I haven't hit the age where I can't drink. I can still drink coffee, like, pretty late. I'm sure that, that's going to stop soon. Yeah. Uh, nice. um, you know, I had the weird dream because I ate a sandwich, like, an hour before bed. <laughs> it's like that Cosby Show episode. You don't know. Yeah. Where he eats before bed, and the Muppets show up in his dream, and they, like, they he's pregnant, and he bursts a, the entire hoagie sub. It's really the size of this table. Oh, really? It was the weirdest episode ever. Yeah, I've never, I've never watched that show. Yeah, I watched all of them. <laughs> Back before he was, you know, it was, it was popular. People, other people watched it. Don't lie to me. I, I didn't like. I didn't like very many sitcoms. That's like my thing. I mean, is is Gilligan's Island a sitcom? Definitely. Okay, well, I like ones that are old. I used to go to the grandma's house and watch all the old fucking sitcoms. So I like those. All and, sitcoms. and then I tried to watch eighties, nineties stuff. And Mary well, Children was good. Eighty, eighties was a rough. Run for sitcom. All of Married with Children, the whole thing. Married with Children was great, but like in the 80s, it was, it was like the wholesome family bullshit. And that shit. I like The Little House on the Prairie. Is that a sitcom? I would call that more of a, like a. No, that's like a Yellowstone. Thing. Yeah. And it's like R rated. Yeah. It's like. Because I think it was. Whatever you call that. It wasn't a 20 minute show. And most, you know, there's. I can't think of a sitcom that's not a comedy. Sitcoms are always a comedy. Oh, because it's calm, comedy. Yeah. Is that what it means? I, you, I just thought of it now as you were thinking of it. Probably. <laughs> but there's never been like a 30-minute so hardcore it's drama. It's just a sit and laugh. The, the most serious sitcom probably ever is MASH. That's not a sitcom. I like, fuck, that's it the is. other one's like a movie. It's a half an hour. It's sitcom. It's not. And, it, and it's it, if you watch it, it's set up like a sitcom. The fucking song is stuck in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> All, all in the family, it was pretty serious at times, too. They dealt with funny. No, but funny than sad. But they dealt with real. It was the first show to ever deal with serious topics mm. abortion, Fine, you're right. suicide, God. death. It's the first TV show to ever have a flushing Ugh. toilet in it. What? Yeah. They wouldn't, it wasn't, it was not, you know, they had like so many weird TV rules before, like back oh. in the 40s, 50s, and shit like that. So I used to watch I Love Lucy. Lucy, I'm home. And, and what's the other one? Fuck, the one that the the, the, the big ones was made. Yeah, yeah. Uh, God, the Honeymooners. Honeymooners. Why I oughta? I love that. Holy show. fuck! And my third wife. Why I oughta? And all the family punches her right in the face. 
<laughs> so funny. Oh, geez. Uh, oh, we're doing a podcast. So, four, four, and a four, five. Yeah. Well, that's high. That's really good. I burped that word. I know. I smell it. Yeah, me too. It smells like shawarma. I don't know what. Like garlic. It's shawarma with garlic. And- I brought my own heart, uh, hot sauce again and piled it on. Did you do it in the restaurant? I sit in my car. <laughs> I hate it. I feel like an animal. In my Are you car. still in lockdown sometimes? I just want to listen to the podcast while I eat. But yeah, I kind of got used to eating my car during lockdown. I would eat fucking, I would go and order bacon and eggs. <laughs> eat it in my car. Just put all the eggs in a separate container. Tell you that out fucking container. I knew how to do it. And, all the, and then, yeah, well, the, the toast stuff being separate too, so they didn't get all soggy. Totally. Well, they wrap that separately always. They don't put it in the. I haven't done it. I've got it. I did it a hundred times in a row one time. Are we ready for the next bourbon? Oh, what are we doing? Yeah. The next one is. Uh, the camera's still working, by the way. I test checked. The next one is Bullet Bourbon. Frontier whiskey, bullet bourbon, frontier scent. Forty. These are both forty-five. For fucking for fucking for what? Freaking freaking. Fuck I can't get the words out. What's this called? Bullet bourbon. Hello, Siri. Give me some interesting facts about bullet bourbon. That's what she says. Bold and spicy, oak, vanilla, and pepper. Hi. Hello, Siri. Give me some interesting facts about bullet bourbon, please. Here's what I found. Oh, fucking bitch. I thought it was gonna, she's going to rattle some shit off. Jesus Christ. Yeah. She's wrapped like a son of a bitch. Look at it, Nick. Okay, unwrap it, Denny. Show it on ca- Show it how hard it is on camera. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a funny fact. The bottle is named after a man. <laughs> That's just what it says here. Uh, um, Augustus Bullet. Oh. First brewed... Uh, a bottle named after himself in 1830. The original mash bill was around a bunch of numbers corn. <laughs> it changed since then. Is uh, one third? This is one third rye, two third corn. So this is a rye bourbon. This gives the bourbon a unique taste. It is a way. Cl- it is way closer to rye than it is its competitors, but it's still mostly bourbon. Augustus Bullet has become a bit of a myth, Denny, shrouded in folklore. Really. I lost my spot. Fuck. <laughs> it's because you did the... Ooh. I know, I need to. Um, legend, Denny. Legend has it that one day he loaded a bolt full of barrels of his famous whiskey. He set sail to Narlins, never turn it up. Search parties went out to try and recover him, though they had to give up and start a civil war. Oh, wait. They had to give up at the start of the civil war. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when you leave some words out, it makes sentences weird. In 1987, Augustus' great-grandson Thomas took over the company. It is thanks to him that it has become a household name in the last couple of decades. He modernized it, taking it to the future with a firm grasp on tradition, Denny. A firm grasp. Despite the flagship product leaning so heavily towards being rye itself, Bullet only launched uh, rye whiskey in 2011. Bartenders in California use Beemont. Uh, bemoan the fact that they make rye cocktails. They weren't able to use Bullet. Apparently, Thomas got word of this, teaming with his daughter to produce a rye. So I guess people were mad they couldn't use it in rye drinks because it's partially rye. I don't know if I said that out loud. We did it. Not said. All right, that's enough. Probably right. Yeah, we got it. That was a lot. <laughs> you didn't read it. <laughs> I had some info, but you covered it. Oh, what's the info? You had info on Bullet? No, you covered it. Let's go. It's a bourbon whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Kentucky Street bourbon whiskey. Bullet Distilling Company? Did you say that part? Nope. Yeah, you did. Bull and spicy with oak, vanilla, and pepper notes. There okay, well, that's an interesting. That cheers up. Drink it. Fuck. Enough talking. Oh. It's good, but it's not. It's it's not buffalo. It's different. It's different. It's totally different. I it does have it's kind got of more, it's got more flavor, but I don't know if it's too much. It's kind of got that pepper in it there. Yeah, it does have the pepper. peppery at the end. <sighs> Come on, next you know I've never tasted a whiskey that's that tastes like that. Like this one? Yeah. 
No, it's different. I don't want to say whether it's good or bad, but it's interesting. It's sweet. It's almost that's almost as sweet as a as a as like a dark rum. I mean, if you this is the rice would like this one better because it's harder to drink. You gotta earn this. One. You gotta earn it. I'm gonna grab with a little pod. Give me the buffalo. Thank you, sire. I don't, I don't want to need a too much. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little dram. <laughs> you said just a little dram, but it's that's an ounce. <laughs> Since three ninths. It's eight ninths. Yeah, it's eight ninths. Way better. Buffalo. It's definitely smoother. I like the flavors in it, but I think the Buffalo Traces flavors go together better. Yeah, it's uneven. Yeah. There's almost too much pepper at the end. Pepper. Well, I forgot to tell you, we're supposed to, like, disagree on all this stuff and yell at each other next episode. Oh, like uh, Hell's Kitchen? Yeah. You donkey. Hell's Bar. There's supposed to be conflict, right? Here, put these two pieces of bread on your ears. I'm an idiot sandwich. Yeah, that was a bad <laughs> Um, I don't know. You put two empty glasses on yours, so you're an idiot cocktail. Idiot cock. Get out of here, dog. So I know your score is not going to be as high as... It's not a four. It's it's good, though. I like it. What are you giving it? Do you want to score, or do we, are we discussing it still? Well, the only we could do... Oh, give me a little sip of yours. Well, I was going to dump them together. Make them blind. Did you want to sip of my buffalo or my... That's the buffalo. Yeah. So I know my score by itself. So I'm going to blend this. this oh, you're blending it? This is a segment called blending, blending, blending now. We're going to blend two whiskeys because we're cows. And we don't give a fuck about tradition or whatever else. So... <laughs> All right, so I'm a, I'm a fucking three six. I'm a two eight. That low, eh? I don't think it's that bad, dude. I like it. That's low, dude. That's not low. Feels two eight. That feels almost insulting to it. It's a, it's a B minus. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a fucking C minus. It's a C plus. <laughs> I'm going. To, so you say you saying that I'm not good at all? That's why I got ready through school. What's the percentage? Do the fact that I'm put up this with me. Like 5.6. And then 5.6 what? 5.6 out of 10. Isn't that? Two. Yeah, 5.6. So 56%. Yeah, and the D, dude. And yeah, well, that's a D nine plus. Well, that's what I used to get in school. Whatever. I don't know what it is. I don't know math. Oh, God, I can only add. I knew. I know. That's low, dude. Uh, uh, I drank it too fast. Oh. Ooh, the blend's pretty good. You want to try the blend? I don't know. I need a minute. Here, do a little swash of the beer. I just kind of had a bit of a... I got my own. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no. Are you just causing conflict? I don't know why. An incident. Oh. <laughs> so, that's too low, though. Two eight's too low, dude. A D? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. No, I was going to give it a three. And then add another sip, and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's a little lower. Because I'm thinking about, like, how much... If I was drinking a beer, and if it was this much less good... Less good. Yeah, less to, good than the other one. To me, though, it's smooth. It's still smooth. <clears throat> yeah, but all bourbons are smooth. No. Jack Daniels is super smooth. That's a sour bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not... <laughs> oh, my God. You want to try the mix? No. I need to sip on this again because you're making me rethink my answer. It's too low. Two A's too low. A D minus? D plus? Two seven? Do you think? <laughs> you're going down even? <laughs> I'll put, do whatever you want. Fuck. I was going to give it a three and then I had a sip and it was, it is tasty. But then I have some of this. I don't want to have any more though. I've already had like five shots in 15 minutes. <laughs> Because I did pour like a 2.5 first for us for both of them. I don't know. It felt like a 2. Maybe a 1.8. Yeah, well, I didn't pour it then. <laughs> it is it is a bottle shape to drink from, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, it's like SmackDown's gonna be fine. <laughs> When you drink it out of the bottle, you get more burn. It's way harsher. Don't you find that? Totally. I got, like, total burn. Way harsher. Does your score change now, or are we going to make bullet win? No, I still like the flavor, though. After the burn's gone, after the work's done, is that what Ricey says? You need the work? I love it. I'll change it to a three. Yeah, three makes way more sense. 60%. Is that a C plus, then? We'll see minus probably. Uh, or C. Minus? Or like just a C. It's probably a C. A solid C. Mm. I think the 65 is a C. Well, don't forget, like, this one only got an A minus, 90%. That's an A plus. No, not, isn't it 90? Anything over 80 is an A. I don't know. Fuck. I'm not a teacher like you. <laughs> Jesus. Well, why do you got your GED and teach it? No, 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 no. Look at him. He's a baby. Does he want some bourbon? You want bourbon? Nope. He just snarled at it. It's the first time I've seen him do that. I didn't like that. Welcome <laughs> to the Dirty Glass Podcast Winter Proclamation. We got Buffalo Trace. We got Bullet Bourbon. Um, It's kind of a blowout, to be completely honest. I mean... You know, Bullet Bourbon got fucking an 8.9. The well, other one had it. The other one got a fucking 3 and 3.5, uh, a 6.5. So it was really not much of a competition. Kentucky, what is it? Buffalo Trace, one of the best bourbons out there. Winner! I thought when you did the welcome part, the beginning, I thought you were going to do winter, but weird. Because you're like, Wee! I you go, Wee! All right, well, that was a good first fucking episode of season. I love. I missed the face-offs. They're funner. They're way better. It's fun. We have to wait to the end of the month to do this? Why? Exactly. Well, we can do face-offs all for, for three weeks straight, and then do a fucking triple face-off. And then I could, yeah. I like it. It's so fun. Um, all right, so make sure what should they do, Denny? Like and subscribe, make comments online. Also, um, any last words? Uh, I have something written down. I have something written down here. Just wait. Uh, whis- whiskey helping awkward small talk since forever. God. <laughs> Come on. It's the, truth. it's the truth. You can just say alcohol, but whiskey is the... Yeah. No, whiskey makes it way funner. It's the cocaine of liquor. No, tequila is. Whiskey's more of a... Just a slow... The slow roll into a fight. Yeah, it's like math. Because tequila's a quick, like, you're just... Blah, blah, in a fight! Whiskey's more like you get into it, you gotta drink it all night, and then you're like... <laughs> that guy's looking at me. There's like your normal and then you're sloppy immediately. Like when I, when I, that was a good punch. Act. When I, I, I old style, no, old style's like this. Yeah, I don't know what you're, you're doing cat. Is it like a cat with my, <laughs> uh, all right. Bye, get subscribed. Bye. <laughs> oh, still going? Yeah. What do you want to talk about now? Bye. <laughs> okay. Look out for the next episode of Whiskey. See how it is. Bye. Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs>